Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back, if you're new, I'm Hannah. And if you're not new, then I'm still Hannah. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's been forever since I've done any type of tutorial, hair or makeup here on YouTube. I've been doing it on my Instagram and my TikTok, but I was like, I feel like I can get so much more in depth on YouTube. Plus it's just like fun. I get to live out like my inner 14 or 13 year old dream of being a YouTuber every time I hop on here still, it like is so fun. Um, so what makeup tutorial are we doing today? I thought I haven't ever once recreated a makeup look before. So today's the day. I'm going to do Elsa Hosk. She's like a fashion icon, a model, obviously. We'll put her photo here. Um, but her look at the Grammys. I'm at the Oscars, not the Grammys, sorry. Uh, we're still gonna do it, so let's do it. Uh, last week, I guess when I'm posting this, it might be two weeks ago. Um, but it was just so pretty, and I also have to go to dinner after this, so I didn't wanna do anything too crazy, like something I would also wear, but something that's a bit different, like a little bit of a smoky, cat eye kind of look um because i tend to you know do the exact same makeup like every day of my life for the past five years so i thought i would try to channel my inner elsa today and that's you know what we're gonna do so started with my shirt i'll do my hair after this um because i feel like it needs to be out of my face and i might even film that depending on how long this takes so yeah. Okay, first things first, we're going to prep the skin. I always want to talk in like a British or an Australian accent whenever I'm doing my light like, makeup tutorials because I grew up watching like the Aussie girls doing them. We're going to start with Hourglass, the mineral primer. I'm going to put it on my face. I really like this stuff. It's good. Might have gotten a bit too much. I used to use this a few years ago and then I was like, I don't need primer anymore. And then I don't know what happened, but my makeup just started looking weird like on my skin. And then I started using this stuff again and I was like, oh, maybe I was just missing a primer and I wasn't realizing how much it kind of like smoothed everything out. Okay, anyway, that looks good. I'm gonna go in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is technically a primer, but I use it as just foundation. Um, but for a look like this, I wanna just like have that like inner glow kind of, you know, vibe. Um, so I'm just applying this all over and then I'll go in with some foundation. This stuff is so beautiful. It literally makes your skin look like glass. Did you just hear my stomach growl? So embarrassing. I used to be so embarrassed whenever my stomach would growl in class. Like, I don't know if that's a thing, but I would pack so many snacks just to prevent my stomach from growling because it would just, like my stomach growls like really loud. And like, I was always scared like people were gonna think it was like gas, but it wasn't. I was just, you know, ready for a snack. <laughs> I think I'm in a goofy mood today. I think I need definitely a darker foundation. So, so we're gonna do that, definitely. Um, hmm. Should I try this? Okay, we're gonna try the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. I feel like this might help a little bit with darkening it and then I might even mix in a little bit of the Dior Forever Skin Glow because I feel like Elsa has that like kind of like, I don't wanna say matte, but it's like flawless. Like sh her face looks like a filter. Um, so I'll do a little bit of this and then I'll add this after. And it's like yellow toned, like she has some yellow tones up in there, you know? Yeah, we approve. This by the way is such a good like drugstore foundation i used it in like high school and in college and i don't know if y'all are like this but like with shampoos conditioners skincare and makeup 
I kind of find that I like hyper focused on one, I guess. Um, and I'm like obsessed with it. Like we'll use the same shampoo and conditioner for like months and months and months. And then all of a sudden it just doesn't work like it used to. So then I have to switch it up. So that's what happened with this. Like I used it for so long. And then all of a sudden I was like, I don't think like the oils in my face or something, something was going on and this didn't work, but um, brought it back and she works just fine. So we're using her today. Okay, adding a little bit of this like fuller coverage Dior Skin Glow and the color is just nice as well. Almost like where concealer is kind of gonna go, but I'm gonna be a little bit more specific with my concealer. Now I'm gonna do some concealer. I know it's kind of annoying to use like two, like for some reason in my brain, it's like, Hannah, you're the worst makeup artist or makeup person ever if I like keep mixing things, but that's just, how we're gonna do it here because I like how this one is really light but like yellow toned and I like how this one is like very full coverage like gonna cover every single little thing so we're gonna do that and like I don't need I, the point of this like makeup tutorial isn't to like look exactly like Elsa obviously I, I never could but I, I want to like you know bring in some of those features that she has. She has like, you know, good cheekbones and all of that. So I'm gonna try to like channel that. She also like has a, it's like really light right here on her face. Do I look like Elsa yet? Like be honest. I'm still using these types of beauty sponges. They're from Amazon. I can link them below if you want. They're just so good. I also feel like I haven't like hung out with you guys in a minute. Um, random life updates. Um, I hired somebody on full time to help me with my life, which is so exciting. Her name's Tiffany. So I feel like I should bring Tiffany on, on my YouTubes and stuff. Cause we see each other like multiple times a week and we have multiple calls a day. Um, but Tiffany's the best. She'll be on a YouTube, I'm sure, soon. Dylan and I looked at a venue in Europe if you watched my other YouTube video. Um, so that's pretty exciting. So many people like are so invested, which I don't blame them. Like I don't blame you guys or some of you guys for being so invested in Dylan and I's wedding. Like we put our life out there and stuff, so I get it. Um, but it's just funny that it's like sometimes aggressive. Like, when are you getting married? Like angry. I'm like, okay. We're trying to figure all of that out. I think seeing a spot in Europe helped validate some stuff, just to be totally honest between us. And I probably won't say this anywhere else. Europe will always be an option, okay? But logistically, it was just like we've been talking about it and it just feels like so expensive. And like, I don't, I don't come from that really. Like I need a lot of, like my humans to be there and I wouldn't expect for people to like pay for stuff or we, we just like even like these little boat rides like they're they're so expensive and all this kind of stuff and I don't know so so we might be leaning towards California for the whole wedding situation going to travel to Europe or something for a honeymoon where we don't have to be stressed the whole time. Like if we're already spending the money on traveling and like the time, like I'm almost like we might as well just enjoy it and not be like stressed or worried about somebody losing their bags or the taxi not coming or the the boat thing taking you to the wrong spot or not having any, they will have Ubers by the way, it like come on. So there's that. So it's just a few things. I'm gonna add bronzer. Y'all like don't even hate on me. I'm literally gonna have to add bronzer. I was looking at photos of her and her highlight looked like not a highlight. Like it looks like she maybe gets a little sweaty in that spot, but it's dewy, like pretty, like sun kissed. So I'm gonna go in with this, the Rio Sunset Glow Oil. If you don't have this, just like, it's a little pricey, but it'll last you like literally a lifetime. Put it all over your legs, your arms, like your face. It's beautiful, mix it with your foundation. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Um, it's great for like spring and summer. So I'm gonna like dab, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna add some of this. It literally just looks like wet, like obsessed. And it looked like she had a jaw 
highlight, which I saw that like on TikTok. So I'm gonna try, like, I, do, I don't have her drop. Let's, you know, that's fine. But I'm gonna try to. This would be the highlight I would use if you wanted to do like that jaw highlight because it literally is not sparkly at all or overly shiny. It just looks wet, which is what I think that whole jaw highlight vibe kind of is. I do this face. Can I stop? I like don't think I can stop. So this isn't really the exact color, but I'm gonna use this as a small base. It's the Rare Beauty. These blushes are so good. Um, but I'm gonna do just a tad of it and then I'll probably go in after and enhance it with a more peachier blush because I think she's got, you know, some peachy cheeks. Placement up high. Cause we know she's got some high cheekbones. So I'm gonna try to not bring it down here cause I think that's gonna lower the face. We're just gonna like dab away. And I don't like to rub this stuff cause I, I, I don't, I don't know why I feel like it um, kind of like takes it off and takes off your other makeup. So I think by tapping it and blending it in with like the warmth of your finger, kind of like finish the set it, it like really helps ease it out. I'm not a professional makeup artist, okay? I think I've like showed you guys this before. I need to grab some makeup from it, but this is like one of the guest bathrooms and I have all of this um, this is like where I store all of my makeup now. Used to, I had like all of that storage, but now like mascara, these are all like eyeshadows. You have all of this. I'm trying to find a powder. Yep. I'll probably just grab some Jason Wu. Yeah, I'll just get some of this. That should be good. But yeah, that's my little makeup storage. By the way, I've been trying to think of content. Let's start with that. Like I've been trying to plan out literally a year of, like a year at a glance type of content and stuff with Tiffany who works with me. Um, just because I, I wanna make sure there's no days where I'm just doing like nothing. Like I'm scared of that, you know? Like this is, I mean, it's my life and I enjoy doing it, like literally genuinely would do it even if I, if it wasn't my job, but it's my job too, right? So I wanna be just like putting out really cool content and potentially products and brands and all of this kind of stuff. So I'm trying to plan out concepts. So anytime I ask like, do you guys think I should do this? Like we go and take notes and we try to see what like people wanna see and stuff like that. Um, but one of the things that popped up was like, Hannah, you should do like your bridal makeup. And I was like, that could be kind of fun. Like, I don't think I would do my own makeup. No, I would definitely not do my own makeup, but I could at least like try out different looks and then show the makeup artist for whenever I'm a bride, which sounds so weird. Like any of you brides out there, did you feel kind of not, not weird saying that you're a bride, but it's like that weird, like, I don't know. Does that make sense? I think I need to blend this. Um, I just feel funny saying like, I'm a bride or like, I'm a wife. Like it's just such a different, like foreign kind of thing for me. And I'm just super weird. So start bronzing using the Haas Laboratories heat spell. Okay, so just did that, and now I'm gonna like go in with this. Um, it has a little leftover like foundation on it, and like lift this because I want the cheeks to be lifted. She has such lifted cheekbones. I also did this thing on Instagram the other day. I don't know if y'all saw it, but like placing bronzer like way higher than you normally would, like lifts your face. So we're trying that because Miss Elsa just has. Such high cheekbones. I'm using this e.l.f. palette really quick um, to mix a color so that it's really peachy. I'm gonna go in with this literal like orange tone and this pink one so that it feels like peachy and coral. I'm 
Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and nose contour off camera really quick so we can get this thing moving along. Okay, there's my brows. I just put concealer on my nose. I just used this from Revlon. I just like that it has a little, little sponge on it. And then I'm just gonna blend it out. So there's the nose contour. Now we're gonna do lips. Actually, we're gonna do eyes. Um, so I'm gonna have to like pull up this photo. There's one with her eyes closed. So it's definitely like a black slash gray, like smoky eye, right? Let's see how this goes. Um, we're literally all in this together. It doesn't look hard, but as soon as there's like pressure on me, I tend to kind of mess things up a little, but not today. We've got this. We're gonna trust our skills. I'm gonna start with doing this Kosa's powder. It's so good. Um, and one of these little brushes that like packs it on. I'm just gonna do this as like my eyeshadow primer. Sometimes I feel like eyeshadow actual primers, they don't really work for me that well. So I like to use like an actual powder. I'm gonna start out by easing into all of it. So I went ahead and prepped my lids kind of, and I'm gonna go in with this super, super light brown um, and just work it into my crease a little bit just so that it has like a good base, I guess. I feel like that has to make sense. And then we'll start going with the darker colors. We're building our crease right now. Like the crease that I kind of just got rid of with the lighter color, I'm gonna bring it back in a little bit neater of a way with this light brown. Okay. I feel like she has a lot of white on her lid, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this super bright white. This is the Tartlet palette, by the way. Um, and it's like the purple one. They have a few different ones, but I'm gonna mix this stark white and this like yellowy, creamy white one. And I'm gonna work it like in this inner area and a little bit up here. I feel like she has really like, it's like really bright. Like she has a lot of like, I don't know, the, this inner area is just really bright, which is really, really pretty. That sounds crazy, but it just makes such a difference. At least on my eyes, I, I feel like because they're pretty hooded right here, I feel like this really opens up my eyes. Now on to the fun part. I'm gonna go in with this House Laboratories. I found this and it's like a gun, it's like a gun metal kind of vibe and I'm literally just gonna dust it sort of slash pack like dust and pack on my lid and then I'll go in with a darker shade and work on um, like the upper um, waterline. There to be fallout so I'm gonna like this is like not cute but I want y'all to see it. I feel like in her photo, she they brought it out just a little bit, like not a ton, but a, a, a little bit. <laughs> I like start doing the um, uncut gems <laughs> makeup. <laughs> like, sorry, Elsa, I'm going Julia Fox here. <laughs> I don't know why I was stressing out so much about this. It's literally a smoky eye. It's because I'm like filming it, so I'm like kind of pressured, but like. We got this y'all, like that it was nothing. I like that I'm using a fluffier brush for some reason because I feel like it like dusts it versus like stamping it in one area. Look, we got this y'all. So this color is slightly more blue than hers, which is fine, but I'm gonna add a little hint of gray. This is a pretty gray tone um, and like dust it over it so it kind of, brings it back to that gray color. Not me doing the model face. <laughs> okay. Like it's not that bad, okay. It's so easy, just use a fluffy brush to get it on there and like kind of pack and then swirl. That's all it takes, that's all it takes folks. Um, now I'm gonna go in with just like a, a smaller like dome brush and well that's not the right color 
oh yeah and like this like black shade it's not like stark black it's like slightly dusty black i should name eyeshadow I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't really do my eyebrows. I'm sure you can't tell. She has such a lifted eye, like I think just naturally they kind of like go up. So I'm gonna try to like give an illusion a little bit with this little tiny brush of like a wing, just a tad. It looks like my lash line is just like higher. Now I'm gonna use this super white, like stark white sparkly shade. It's called Topless. Okay. It's a bit more pigmented than I was expecting. And it looks blue. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do some white in the inner corner. Now I'm gonna go in with eyeliner and do a wing. I'm gonna bring some of the eyeliner a little bit down here, which I don't normally do, but she did that. Um, but I'm gonna have to do it off camera, unfortunately, because I mess it up every time I film it. So hold please. Okay, so there's the liner. I've done better, but I've done worse. Now I'm gonna go in with the Lancome Idol Mascara. Love this stuff. And then I'm gonna go and pop on some lashes. And then we'll finish it with some lips. I'm gonna lightly coat the bottom. She doesn't have a lot going on at the bottom, but I just wanna do like a little some. Okay, so for her lips, I feel like they're like a, it's got like a rosy hue, but then a little peachy. So I grabbed this, but I was thinking we could look at one of these. This is called Parchment. Let's see, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, that actually might be close. Might be a little dark though. Hazelnut. Looks like it's orange. No, I'm in here. Still. Hi. Did you work out? You went and played basketball? I went to the gym. Can you tell? I can smell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tell them about that while I'm doing my lips. Will you tell them? We came back. I was like, I got to run 10K. I get out there. I ran twice in Europe. Uh, absolutely killed it. Let me read you. You did crush it. Let me read you my splits. My splits were. Uh, and what's a split for people who don't know? A split is like the mile time, and it's six miles. So. Uh, well, uh, never mind. <laughs> so then, okay, so mile one, seven minutes, six seconds, really good. I realized I was going a little too fast, so I tried to slow down a little. So seven fifty four, second mile. 916 mile three, we don't talk about that. That was straight up hill. So, I mean, honestly, whatever. Mile four, 759, so we're back down. Mile five, 713. Mile six, last mile of the race, 650. I got that in the tank, baby. I want, I got, it. I think I got like 15th or 16th, something like that. Out of how many people? Overall, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure how accurate the times were because I started 10 minutes late, so it added 10 minutes to my time. So that's why I have my Apple Watch. But uh, yeah, I think I I think I I placed pretty high. I mean, top 50 definitely. So I was pretty hyped. That's so good. So there's Dylan's story time. Yeah. I I think he should run more races because he he tra trains all the time. Like I feel like you're you're like a really good athlete. And I and I uh, came out with a book. So today's April Fools. If you guys didn't know, Dylan has been talking about coming out with a fake bachelor book for over a year now. Um, like literally since I think it was like October, he was like, oh, I have such a good idea for April Fools. And um, he just wanted to come out with like a bachelor based book. So. That was his April Fools today. Since today is April Fools, mine was faking to lose my engagement ring. Except it was so annoying because the way I set up the camera, it like kind of cut us off. But the the prank worked. I don't know if I'll even post it, but so yeah. I ended up using 
Oh wait, which one did I end up using? I'll link it below. And then I topped it with this Tower 28 gloss. These are so glossy and so good. Um, so now I'm gonna like try to make my hair look semi like hers. Like it's definitely not gonna be as great, um, but I think it'll bring the whole look together. Okay, so here is like the bun. I curled these front little pieces a little bit, just like bended them. But there's this. And let me know what you guys think. I feel like it was so fun recreating a cool makeup look. And let me know if you guys want me to try any more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And let me know what other tutorials you want me to do because I love doing them, they're so fun. Um, also make sure to like and please, please, please subscribe. It helps so much and it validates what I'm even doing here. So um, yeah, have a lovely, lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.